What is temporal discounting? This is a method used by economists to try to understand the way rational agents might value goods differently depending upon when in time they get to enjoy those goods. So let's begin by just considering a very simple example. I might offer you a, a chocolate uh, at different times. So let's say I offered you one chocolate today or one chocolate in a fortnight. And I said, which of those would you prefer? Now there might be some super patient people who would prefer to wait as long as possible before they enjoy the chocolate. But let's put aside um, that sort of attitude, which you might have for some things where there's a pleasure in anticipating them. Let's just say that uh, this is a good way of anticipating it doesn't bring you any extra pleasure. So other things being equal, if you're like most people, you would prefer to have the chocolate today. Okay, I'm going to represent this sort of preference by putting a line like this to represent that the preferred item is uh, above the, the less preferred item. Okay? Now, it'll be convenient to have uh, some uh, neater way of recording goods and times. So I'm going to write something like this. I'm going to write 1 at t equals 1. That means 1 chocolate in, you know, at, at, let's say t equals 0. That means right now. You don't have to wait any time at all. And that's preferred over 1 at t equals 2. That was a chocolate in a fortnight's time. And I expect we'll see the very same pattern of preferences for two chocolates now versus two chocolates in two weeks. And we also would expect to see it for three chocolates. And let's add in another option here. Let's consider three chocolates in just uh, one week versus three chocolates in two weeks. The value seems to be going down the further in time you get to enjoy the goods. Okay. With that sort of pattern in mind, whereby in general the value seems to go down over time, one thing we ha haven't done here is we presumably, if you just focus on the same time, say right now, most people would say two chocolates at t equals zero is better than one chocolate at t equals zero. That is, Two chocolates right now is better than one. What, and, and in general, let's just assume more chocolates is better, holding time fixed. But what if we vary both the number of chocolates and the time when you enjoy the chocolates? So for instance, consider a comparison like this one. There'll be, let's say, I think we can assume there'll be two sorts of people. What we can call patient people will say, two chocolates, even if I have to wait for them, is preferable to one chocolate right now. A relatively impatient person, on the other hand, will say, I don't, I can't wait. And even though it means they get fewer chocolates, I only get the one chocolate it's better to get that chocolate now than to get the greater number of chocolates in future. So these, we can imagine there'll be both sorts of person around, right? Both people who are patient and people who are relatively impatient. What we're seeking when we try to um, uh, do uh, temporal discounting or sort of develop the technique is some way of representing mathematically the different psychological attitudes of these two different sorts of people in a way so we can make predictions about what they would do in future.